Hello, so I was called to do a general reading. Um, whatever the cards want to say, you know, take it, take it if it resonates, leave it if it doesn't. You know, this either is or isn't your energy group. Sometimes with these energy groups, it might be like two or three people, like very specific messages for a very small energy group. And other times it's an energy group of maybe like 30 or more people. So, you know, don't try to make it fit if it doesn't resonate. If this isn't your story, then the next one might be. Let's see what's going on. Chariot. Justice. Ooh, we got some good cards here. Okay. Eight of Wands. Wow. So you have the Chariot. You have the Justice card. You have the Eight of Wands. Like, everything is, is looking up. Like, things are going in your favor. You have the world. So this is like, this is like a karmic cycles ending, you know? Um, for those of you, some of you who've just gotten out of an abusive karmic relationship and, you know, your guides are proud of you for getting out of that, that you know, abusive karmic connection. A lot of you are going forward to be with your true love. Some of you are already with your true love. You've already left a karmic and you're now with your true love. Others of you, you know, have you've left a karmic or your person's left a karmic um, and you're on the way to your true love. But whatever it is, it's like, you know, you, it looks like you're really on the right path here. You know, with the world, it's like you you ended these karmic cycles. I'm hearing something about like breaking general generational curses as well. Like some of you, some of you had a karmic lesson and you did things differently this time. Like some of you are in like an abusive connection where you were being physically abused or like verbally abused. And in the past, you've gone along with that. And this time you put your foot down and you said, you know what? Now I'm moving forward. I want justice. I want to go forward. I want to be with my soulmate or my, or my twin flame. Or, you know, some of you are just starting out on your own or whatever it might be. But you just, you put your foot down. You ended that karmic cycle. Because I'm just getting that there's something here where it's like there was like a karmic lesson that kept repeating. And it could even be something that kept happening around this same time frame as well like in like October November like in the fall months where it's like you kept going through these karmic lessons these karmic cycles and they just kept repeating but this time around something shifted you did something differently this time is what I'm getting or your person did something differently or both of you did possibly you know you might be like in a, a twin flame or a very deep soulmate connection where you guys are kind of mirroring each other so you're both ending karmic cycles and lessons at the same time kind of like telepathically helping each other through these karmic cycles but what I'm feeling here is yeah it's just it's a beautiful energy because you just put your foot down and did something differently so maybe you you know have this habit of not listening to your intuition or not listening to your spirit guides or you know not setting boundaries or you know letting people take advantage of you Letting your empathy get the best of you, you know, not finding that balance. But I'm getting whatever it was this time around, you have really taken your power back. You know, you've said enough is enough. So a lot of you have just gotten out of a, a abusive karmic connection and you have no desire to ever go back. Or your person has just gotten out of an abusive karmic connection and they have no desire to ever go back. But either way, it's like you guys are moving forward together. You have lots of really beautiful cards here. You have justice as well with the chariot, the eight of wands. So really, you know, your guides or your spirit guides are really proud of you is what I'm getting. I'm getting that really strongly. Like some of them, it's like they wanted to bring new energy into your life. Like they wanted to bring in these financial blessings and these, you know, blessings when it comes to love, maybe like a new home, new location. But it was like this one little karmic cycle that just, you know, it's like you had learned most of your other karmic lessons, but you just had one specific karmic lesson that you just kept repeating and again this could be something with like boundaries is what I'm feeling for a lot of you because I'm feeling the energy here with the world of, of ending karmic relationships and toxic toxic abusive relationships and going towards your your real true love your actual soulmate or your twin flame you know so I'm just getting the energy here of your guides your spirit guides being really proud of you it's like you just leveled up very quickly you just you know, you, you just got yourself out of something. You just, um, you know, use your intuition and put yourself first and, and put your foot down and you're doing what's right for you. You know, you're, you're going on your own path. You have this sense of like bravery and, and integrity and, you know, you, it's like you finally ended the cycle. So you might be feeling the sense of like freedom. 
you know, almost like this peaceful kind of feeling, like this breakthrough energy, you know, that's it's either here or it's you can feel you're on the verge of it, you know. It's like you might be having these epiphanies now too, or this could, like I said, this could also be your person that's going through this as well, or it could be both of you going through it. But it's like you might also, you know, someone here might also be having these epiphanies about, you know, this breakthrough. It's like, you know, wow, congratulations. Like, you know, someone finally ended a karmic cycle that they were stuck in. And I'm getting to that the karmic cycle was something that they were supposed to wrap up a while ago. Like your spirit, like this person's spirit guides have been wanting to bring them blessings in all areas of their life for a long time. But they just had that karmic lesson that they needed to wrap up before they could move on to the next level. Like for some of you, it's like you have psychic gifts coming in. Um, you know, like psychic awakening or just new spiritual gifts coming in if you're already very psychic. And it's like your spirit guides had to have you wrap up that karmic lesson first, though, before you could be ready for all these these gifts that they want to bring you. You know what I mean? Or like some of you, maybe maybe you're in like a situation or something where, where you have like a toxic neighbor or toxic friend or something that lives around you, but you've been wanting to move and you just wrapped up, I'm getting for like someone here, it's like they, someone just wrapped up a toxic cycle with like a neighbor or a friend. And the reason you weren't able to move is because your guides are trying to teach you a lesson, like a spiritual lesson through that person. And you just learned it. You know what I mean? Like you just took your power back and used your intuition and, you know, made this commitment to yourself that you're not going to let anybody talk to you that way. You're not going to let anybody gaslight you. You're not going to let anybody control you ever again. You know, you're just, it's this beautiful energy of just this breakthrough where you're just completely committed to yourself and completely committed to, you know, living the life of your dream. So for someone here, it's like you might be, you know, coming into like a new living situation because you had to wrap up things with a toxic friend or someone that was around you. And now that you've done that, you can move on to, you know, the next chapter of your life. But, but yeah, overall, there's just this beautiful energy of, of ending karmic cycles and going towards destiny. Nine of Swords. The Sun. Yeah, you're also coming out of a phase or your person is coming out of a phase of anxiety. So I think that someone was overthinking for a while. And like with the karmic cycle here, it kind of makes sense because some of you were probably like, dude, why the hell? Like, I know I'm a powerful manifester. Why is money not coming in? Why am I in poverty still? Why is, why am I still at the same nine to five job? Why am I still... You know, why is this still happening to me? Why does this cycle keep repeating? You know, why do I keep, you know, why this, why that? And, you know, now you're, now it's like you're moving forward though. It's like you've, you know, something's just, sorry about my phone there. It's going to take a minute. Sorry. <laughs> but it's like you, you've moved, you're moving out of that nine of swords energy. Eight of swords is someone that has all these swords around them and they feel trapped by them. And they, you know, they have, it's like their swords all around them and they're in the center and right in front of them is, you know, their castle, their true love, everything they could ever, you know, imagine everything they've ever wanted. And I'm getting that for this group, either you or your person has woken up and realized that the swords around them are just an illusion. And they walked out of that entrance, out that entrance way towards their castle, towards their true love. Now, for some, this is someone leaving a karmic behind where they're like, you know, finally recognizing that the karmic's threats, they're, they're all the karmic's bullshit is just illusion. It's just, you know, it's nothing. It's nothing. It's peanuts. You know, it's nothing like, like it's absolutely nothing. You know, someone's taking their strength and their power back and they've gotten out of the eight of swords. And now it looks like they've gotten, it's like this person transitioned after that to the nine of swords where I feel like they had a lot of regret. Like for those in third party situations, I feel like they had a lot of regret and disgust with themselves for even dealing with the karmic as long as they did. They're they're kind of thinking like, ooh, why would I ever touch that person with a 10 foot pole? Like the blindfold is off. Like we've talked about this in my third party groups, you know, like the blindfold is off. The truth is out. There is no going back from that. Like the person, this person, if this is like a third party story and for some of you it is, but not for all of you, and I just want to say for those that are in a third party situation, it's like the person is almost feeling disgusted with themselves for ever even tolerating the karmic. Like the person feels like nauseous just thinking about the karmic, like physically, just they're physically disgusted with them. They're mentally, emotionally, spiritually disgusted with them. It's like, 
almost like like these karmics are like succubuses and demon souls and it's almost like you know this person in this situation actually sees that now it's almost like they can just look at them and they see a demon or they see a succubus like there's you know what I mean? Like the karmic can dress cutesy all she wants, but you know, this person sees a succubus spirit. They see, or an incubus spirit, you know, male or female, they see, they see the demon now and there's no turning back from that. There's, there's no going back once you've seen that, you know, but this person is taking the steps to protect themselves. Like they know that the person is, it's like they have this, this beautiful balance is what I'm feeling. Like they know that this person's an absolute psycho and that they need to protect themselves from them. But at the same time, they also know that their threats are an illusion that, you know, they understand now that the karmic's going to try to say anything to get them back and, they're taking their power back and they're, they don't give a shit about the swords around them anymore. They're walking forward towards destiny, towards true love. So if this isn't your person, this could also be you. And it doesn't necessarily mean that you were, I mean, this could just be like a cycle you're ending. Like maybe some of you have like this pattern where you date men or date women that are physically abusive with you. And you're like, damn, why does this keep happening again and again and again? And you've done some shadow work recently and you're you're changing that pattern and you're starting to be attracted to people that are not your usual type where it's like you're not resonating. I'm just getting that this group, this energy group, it's like they're not resonating with the low vibrational energy anymore. It's, it's 11 minutes, 11 seconds in. They're not resonating. Whoever this is, whoever this is, they're not resonating with the low vibrational energy anymore. It's like they're they they're in this high vibration now. Like, they don't resonate with, like, the toxic karmics or the toxic friends. Like, they're just, they're on a whole nother level now, you know? So they already came out of the Eight of Swords energy, but then they, you know, they, this person had to work through the Nine of Swords, which is, like, guilt and, like, regret for, like, I just think, like, they have, like, a lot of regret for wasting so much of their time with the karmic and so much energy and, like, allowing themselves to be gaslit. They're like, damn, how did I not... Like, how was I, like, living with this demon and not realizing they were a demon? Or how was I dealing with this person and, like, you know, or how was, how was I in this? For some, it's, like, a cycle or a pattern. Or, like, how was I in this karmic cycle and not recognizing my worth and not recognizing, you know, what I deserve? Like, you know, some of you, but there's just, there's just this energy of, like, a karmic cycle that's ended. And you have so many beautiful cards here about moving forward. You know, you know, this person's coming out of the Nine of Swords energy, which is like worry, fears. It's like anxieties, regrets. I just think that they're like, they're processing like, so for those in a third party situation, it's like they would not touch the karmic with a 10 foot pole. They just have like these regrets. They're just kind of disgusted with themselves. Like, ew, why did I even, why would I ever want that? Why would I ever allow that into my space? So it's like either you or your person, like you're really leveling up. And for some, like I said, this could be you. You could have a pattern with, like, physically abusive people. I'm getting for a few of you, you do have a pattern with, like, physically abusive people. And, you know, you're the one that's leveling up. And you're like, you know what? I don't deserve this. I don't want to waste my life away, like, you know, being with people who treat me like this. And some of you are the ones that are, like, ending, you know, ending the cycle. But whatever it is, you know, and this could even be, like, a work situation, too. You know, take it as it resonates. You know, you might have stood up to a family member, a friend, but I'm getting that someone here stood up for themselves. That's coming through very strongly. Someone's using their intuition finally. Someone is almost like a, sh a snake, like shedding its shedding its skin. It's like just this transformation, this beautiful transformation energy. It's like someone is just, they're not going back to the past. There's nothing that would make them ever want to go back to that past. You know, they're going forward towards their true love or they're already with their true love is what I'm getting. You know, they're going forward towards destiny, towards the things that are meant for them. They're, you know, they're not going back to the toxic, abusive karmic, you know. It's like they're leaving this toxic karmic behind. They have left them behind already, but now they're just processing like, damn, like, why did I allow that? Why did I, ew, like, why did I, like, why did I not realize she was such a demon, you know. But yeah, it's just, it's a beautiful energy. And like I said, for some of you, this is like not necessarily a person. This is just like a cycle where it's like you kept having like this karmic lesson to learn and you just learned it where it's like you just, you know, maybe you have like a toxic friend or something and it's like you just stood up to someone or something. I'm just getting like the energy of like someone like having honor and integrity and like doing what's right and like standing up for themselves. Um like being committed to truth, to, to justice, to, um, 
you know, stepping out of their comfort zone, basically. It's a really good energy here. You know, and I keep hearing something about breaking generational curses. There's something about, like, some kind of curse has just been lifted is what I'm feeling. Like, there could be, like, a curse or something that was in someone's bloodline, and I'm getting that now... It's like there was like almost, I don't even know if this makes sense, but it's almost like a code in someone's DNA where it's like they they unlocked something, like they did something they've never done. And now because they've done something they've never, they never did before, they, they're going to have, you know, something they've never had before, which is really positive. It's like someone just made a very brave decision. Someone, you know, someone is just moving forward here. It's such an amazing energy. Someone is just using their intuition and standing in their power and standing in their truth. And they're, you know, they're processing their emotions, but their, their vibration is raising more and more every day. And there's no bringing them back down at this point. Like their, their vibration is going to continue to rise, you know, whether it's you or your person or both of you. So it's like someone just has no desire to ever go back to those old karmic cycles. Like you've, you've broken a karmic cycle. So it's really beautiful. You know, keep being committed to this life that you're trying to manifest right now for sure. You, because you have a lot of cards here saying that you are, you know, on the right path. Some of you just let go of like a family member or something. And you're like, damn, like, did I do the right thing? Like, maybe you're used to being really empathetic. And so you feel kind of guilty. You're like, damn, I really hurt her feelings. I can't believe I spoke out like that. Or, you know, but it's like your, your spirit guides are saying, no, like you, you needed to do that. It was coming for a long time. Like something built up and, and just kind of exploded. But there's there's this beautiful breakthrough energy in that. So so yeah, lots of cards are about moving through the sun. Nine of Pentacles. And you're gonna have rewards for this too. Temperance energy as well. You have justice too. So whatever the situation was, like if this karmic abused you or your or this karmic abused your person, like physically, verbally, like just dragged them down, put them down all the time, they're gonna be in the nine of swords. They're gonna be in that energy where they're gonna be trapped. You know, your spirit guides demand justice. They're going they're going to have justice. They're going to make sure that you see that justice is being served here. You know, so the people that made you suffer are basically going to suffer themselves. And your spirit guides are going to allow you to watch it. I'm getting for a lot of you is that you're going to actually see evidence of this person suffering. They're going to let your spirit guides are going to let you know that you are protected and loved and that this person did not get away with their gaslighting and their abuse, you know. Um because we have, yeah, we have just as eight of wands, just all this really beautiful energy. Someone's just going forward full speed towards their destiny. I feel like there might have been like a financial lesson for someone that was learned here too about balance. You know, nine of pentacles is like, it's reward. It's, you know, getting what you want. And it's just like someone's learning a balance regarding that situation. So it could be like a balance like between, between work and home life. I feel like it's also a balance between maybe someone had like a went back and forth between being pessimistic and positive and now someone's just kind of finding that middle ground of um it's like I'm getting that someone's learning how to manifest money and manifest what they want but where before maybe you you or your person had like a bad relationship with money or you had like like either like a mindset of poverty or like a mindset of like materialism like you know kind of one extreme to the other and I'm getting that financially someone's also learned some kind of lesson here when it comes to finances where it's just like someone's um it's just finding that balance you know and they're they're developing a better relationship with money and that's allowing them to manifest money more easily too but yeah justice is being served someone might have a new um Someone has a new start here. Actually, actually, I'm, let me see. Let me see what I get here, actually. Ace of Pentacles, Eight of Swords, the Hermit, the Moon. Yeah, I'm getting here with this, that everything kind of had to happen for a reason. Like, you're going to look back on this and understand why things had to play out the way they did. Because I'm feeling like someone was an Eight of Swords energy like this. They're not anymore. But it's like someone was trying to have this new start and they ended up in this Eight of Swords energy where, you know, kind of like stuck. Kind of just like, you know, Eight of Swords is someone that feels like kind of like a victim. Like they're kind of asleep. They're not realizing that they can just wake up and get themselves out of it. You know, like I was saying, Eight of Swords, it's like there's swords all around and then there's this opening, this clear opening where you, you know, you have, you can have true love. You have... You know, on the other side of fear, you have true love, you have abundance, you have money, you have career, you have everything you could ever dream of. You have your spiritual path, your psychic development. 
And you know, this per the, the people in this in this energy group in this story, it's like they were kind of trapped in the Eight of Swords. But I'm getting that they were meant to be trapped in the Eight of Swords because that was the karmic lesson that they you know they needed to learn to stand on their own and wake up and get out of the Eight of Swords energy on their own. They needed to learn to not be so impressionable. They might have had a lot of people around them lying to them and gaslighting them and confusing them. And it's not saying that their spirit guides wanted them to stay there or wanted that for them. But I'm getting that there was a lesson there. There was a reason why these toxic people were around trying to gaslight and confuse, you know, you or your person or both. Um, and that's because it was a lesson to not be so impressionable. It was a lesson to, you know, with the moon to start trusting yourself and trusting your intuition. So it was almost like a challenge from, you know, your spirit guides to kind of put all these, you know, it's, it's like almost like this conflicting energy where people were saying different things. You know, people might have been lying to you about someone or something. And then you had other people that were telling you to go for it. And then, you know, you, you know what I mean? Like you might have just had all this different like energy around you where people are kind of confusing you or gaslighting you, trying to be abusive with you physically, mentally, verbally. I'm not saying that you, I'm not saying that like your guides wanted that for you. I'm just saying that there was, you're going to look back and see the reason for it. Like you're going to, it's going to help. It's going to make you, um, you're going to be helping other people get through that energy. Basically. Does that make sense? It's like with the eight of swords and this video might cut out. So if it does, please check my channel for this for part two. But with the eight of swords here, it's just kind of like someone's spirit guides pushed them to the point where they had no choice, but to listen to their intuition. Because I feel like this person was, was too insecure for too long is like, you know, their spirit guides tried it the easy way, but this person kind of kept doubting their intuition and they kept not letting their spirit guides in. So their spirit guides put them in a position where, you know, they had all these people gaslighting them and lying to them and trying to, to trap them and tie them down. And they had all these like kind of demons trying to disguise themselves as angels around them. And, you know, the purpose of that was, you know, to force them to develop and listen and use their intuition it was like kind of the divine pulling them closer to them, you know? Um, cause it's like, you know, in, in a normal situation, it's like, you know, you don't really, I mean, like you need to use your intuition, but I just get the, the sense that this person was in situations where it's like, you know, they could use their intuition, but they didn't have to. But then they ended up in this situation where it's like they had no choice because there were so many people around them, like saying conflicting things. And this, their spirit guys are basically telling them, hey, you keep listening to the people around you, you're going to be just as confused as they are. You're going to be just as lost and just as insecure and just as left in the dark as they are. You know, it's like, stop being so impressionable. Stop listening to these bitter, jealous, toxic people. Stop letting people gaslight you. Stop letting these people tie you down. You know, your spirit guys, someone's spirit guys basically just put them in a, in a position where they were forced to listen to their intuition because there was too many conflicting opinions and theories going on around them. So they had to go into hermit mode. They had to go inward. They had to meditate. They had to connect with themselves. You know, the divine pushed this person closer to themselves, to their soul, to their intuition. You know, the divine kind of forced this person to get out of Eight of Swords energy on their own. You know, because this person was so impressionable before, impressionable before this person was like, it's someone that was meant to be a leader, but they kept being a follower. And the divine was like, no, you're not meant to be a follower. You're not meant to be so impressionable. You're meant to be a leader. You're meant to form your own opinions. You're meant to go down your own path, even if no one else agrees with it or understands it. And it finally, like this person finally had this epiphany where they like, you know, they got out of that Eight of Swords energy, like something just kind of clicked. You know what I mean? Like something just kind of, they're like, it's like there was so much confusion in the external world around them that they had to go inward. They had to meditate. They had, they were forced to, to use their intuition, to develop their intuition. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and put this up and I'm probably going to do another one. I don't know if it's going to be the same story or not, but basically your guides want to just congratulate you or congratulate your person or both of you, whoever this is. You know, congratulations for finally standing in your power and trusting your intuition and cutting out the narcissist and the, the succubuses and incubuses and psychic vampires and just energy leeches and demons, literal demons for some, you know, you've actually cut out demons and human bodies for some of you I'm getting like you had like a friend or family member that's actually a, literally a demon in a human body that you just cut out, you know. 
Like you, you, you're learning to balance your empathy with, you know, your logical mind. You're, you're standing on your own. Finally, you know, you just wrapped up a major karmic cycle so that this is, you know, allowing the universe to bring blessings in for you. Now it's allowing the universe to bring in this new energy because you've finally gotten past this old karmic cycle. You finally stood up for yourself. You finally, you know, listened to your spirit guides and did what they asked and went inward and meditated. And now you're developing your intuition. And now you're going towards your destiny, towards your true love. You're leaving all the old toxic energy behind. You're going towards what's meant for you, you know? You're not going to let anybody gaslight you or try to, you know, convince you that, you know, your feelings are invalid or try to downplay your feelings or, or you know, try to have you sweep them under the rug. No, no more mental man manipulation. You're a lot stronger than that, a lot smarter than that, and your vibration is higher now. So those people can't even touch you now. It's like they can't. It's like you see through it so easily when they try to manipulate you now. You know, whereas before, it's, and that's what some people are thinking. They're like, damn, how did I not see through that? Ew. You know, like, because like, their vibration is so high that it's just so, from this higher perspective, it's so easy to see what was really going on. Someone's seeing the bigger picture now. But um, congratulations on ending the karmic cycle. Congratulations on whoever that was that just ended an ancestral curse as well. You know, now you have room for new energy and you know, destiny, true love, and everything that you could want to come in. So thanks for watching, guys. And as always, email me if you want a private reading.